Hello. <clears throat> Here we have two telescopes positioned in what I call the parked position. That means that they're pointed more or less at the pole. They're on German equatorial mounts, the one with the counterweight, one there. And get into this position, you sight up the polar axis at the pole star. Once that's set in the position of the pole star, don't move it again, leave it there. To observe the stars that aren't the pole star, for instance, Orion's belt, Jupiter, you have to swing the telescope around, I like that. And now you're looking that way and you can do any part of the sky from there. If you want to look at something that's rising, turn it around, Go over the other way, and you can watch something rising. Once it gets to this point, swing it around the other side, and carry on watching it rising. And set it back to park. The same with your small telescope. If you've got a refractor on a taller thing, you just turn it, and you're looking south. The park position looking north. You hardly ever use it like that. So to see something that's rising, turn the telescope this way and you watch it rise. It comes up, goes over the top and then you turn around and you watch it set that way. Back to the park position. You never have to move the polar axis. You just move the telescope up and down the sky left and right follows the object in the sky back to park and that's it really you keep the polar axis pointing at polaris the telescope does everything else to recap the polar axis points to polaris to look at anything, you move the telescope on the right ascension and declination axis. Once again, the polar axis points to Polaris all the time. To look at anything, you move the telescope on the declination, right ascension axis and the declination axis. I want to watch Jupiter rising, it's over there over there. I want to watch Mercury setting. It's over there. The whole sky is available. You do not move the polar axis. Thank you. Back to park. Thanks for watching. Hope you visit the website soon.